Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Dave and welcome to the next episode of Iron Completionist. So like I mentioned in the end of the last video, most of this week is probably going to still be Theater of Blood. However, the clip following this is a Twitch clip of me during sub raids getting another item. I'm not going to tell you guys what that item was, I just don't want the first clip of the video to be like a Twitch clip with no context. So now you guys have some context. Uh, as for other things I'm going to be working on, I do want to finish off getting ooh, free XP. I do want to finish off getting some mole kills so I can have a bunch of brews made up, and uh, yeah, hopefully we get a new unique from Theater of Blood this week, and we'll probably hit 300 KC as well, so let's just go ahead and jump right into things. Overload? Yeah. Hey, I'm not 90... Herb lore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> where's where's uh, my Swift 20? Alright, 269 KC, and we are breaking our not as big dry streak as before, but mini dry streak. For Defender Hill, not bad, not bad at all. It should be like a 40-ish mil split, give or take. Like, seriously, the one time I don't stream, we actually get a back-to-back -back in your name. Good luck! I'm calling Hilt again. Yep! <laughs> oh, why? Why was this saying? Why? <laughs> uh, IVP again. Damn, they he keep sniping. Easy. I'll tell so you, you see, this, is, this is what you fucking call the break of the dry streak. Alright, let's do it. Well, this time I was sitting here, waiting to get 1,000 KC, and then I pass it without even freaking realizing. So, uh, 1,000 KC and mole down. Obviously, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. I already have the pet here. I mentioned in the last video the reason I'm doing mole is because I'm trying to gather a bunch of bird's nests so that I can make all my brews. Obviously, I don't really think birdhouse runs are very worth it, in my opinion, because of how many ironmen are buying stuff from the shops and how few seeds you get a day from... Uh, Kingdom and Master Farmer would just take a shitload of time too, so I might as well just do Mole and skip the middleman. I think if I keep up with my goal, I should be able to actually get 99 Herblor this week if I try. So we'll see how much TOB I'm doing and see if I can manage to get that done because that is something that was originally considered one of the harder or hardest 99s on an Iron Man, but I think now is kind of a joke. So I guess I'll see if I can get it done. Okay, so in the last clip, I mentioned that I was going to go for 99 herb lore this week, and I wanted to see if I had enough stuff, so I decided to make a little herb lore calculator. You guys know me, I like to make calculators, it's fun. So, I'm gonna, if anyone wants that, I can put it in the description or something. I, I might put it on screen right now, too, if I remember. Uh, so, I just calculated it based on not just the herbs I have, but also just based on the secondaries that I have, because obviously, some secondaries are pretty limiting. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way to gather extra wine of Zami or potato cacti, probably not white berries either. But I will go out of my way to make sure that I get extra things like, you know, uh, mole parts for birds' nests and, s like, spider eggs. Just the easier ones to get. Uh, and with all the stuff I have right now, I have about 3.66 million XP banked, which is more than enough for me to get 99. So I think I'm going to just start working on that now, and I guess I can hopefully have by the end of the week. Alright, so I just turned in my, uh, my mole parts. Not necessarily done yet, uh, but I got about 1,200 nests or so here. 748 seed nests, I feel like most of these are going to be useless, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, in terms of farming, for, you know, actual farming level, I'm getting pretty close to 98. However, and this is the weirdest problem I never thought I'd have, I'm almost out of coconuts. Which is weird, because I never thought I'd run out of coconuts. So, I don't really know what to do about that, I know I could AFK Kurosks if I wanted to, but... I don't really need white berries right now because, like I said, I already have 99 banks for Herblore, so I don't really see any point in doing that. I guess whenever I get around to doing Callisto, I'll get some coconuts from that. Um, but for now, I think when I get back to farming, I'm just going to be planting my magic saplings without protecting them, which is scary. <laughs> but I'm going to extract all these. I'll let you guys know if I get anything good, I guess. Alright, so Molnest apparently gives some weird stuff. Uh, but... I got a few torsal seeds, which is nice, and like a couple snap seeds. Mostly lantanime and dwarf weeds, though. Um, I just had a realization. I am probably going to have to camp neck reels at some point, because I'm out of toad flax seeds. That's gonna suck. And I'm using my brews uh, pretty rapidly. I'm already down to 500 again. I think I've used like over 2,000 or maybe 2,500 since Raids 2 has come out. Obviously, that I'll slow down when I'm done with Raids 2, but still. Now for the best part about opening these nests. Look at this! This is so cute! You can feed your squirrel acorns now! It's so freaking cute! 
All right, I gotta admit, my hand is killing me right now. So I didn't clean all the herbs. I only cleaned the ones I have secondaries for, but this is what I just did today. Ah, uh, ow. Uh, to put it bluntly. Gonna go ahead and make all these non-finished potions. Oh my god, that cost a lot of money. Wow. And this is basically what I'm looking at here for 99 Herbalore. So that is uh it's a lot i'm gonna go ahead and crush these nests while i'm here as well there's another 60k gone so i guess let me go ahead and just price check this because you know one i kind of am curious and two come on dude, easy thumbnail all right so let's see what we got here about 63 mil in just the unfinished potions it's not bad i'm sure the price will go down once i make them but that's uh that's quite a lot let's go ahead and get started all right, the first level, uh, I was gonna say of many, but really not of many left. 97 herbal are coming in. So two more to go, and I think the only other potion that we actually unlock is at 98. So uh, 1.1 million XP to go until then. <laughs> you, already, you didn't even wait. I couldn't even get my recorder open fast enough. That's another defender hill. What are they going for now? Like one, are they 150 still? I think they're still like 150. Feels good, man. Can I get a pet? Make it amazing? Probably not. Disappoint. Oh, that's actually pretty good though. Potato cacti and wines. All right, so this inventory is going to be the penultimate Herblore level. There we go, 98 and the official last relevant level, obviously, because extended super anti-fires, which does mean that I can now go in my bank and grab these botanical pies and just drop them because I no longer have a use for these. I don't need to boost for any more potions, so I don't need these, so yay, saving a bank space. One more level to go, and I don't have very many secondaries to gather either. Just have to get a few nests and some Mortmire fungus, and then I think I'll be good. I'm gonna call Justice Shard. I'm sorry, Kurt. <laughs> it's gonna be a piece of Justice Shard. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, that's it's a surprising drop, Kurt. We've had- we've had so many Defender Hilts, dude. This is like making up for all the ones we've had before. Like, or all the Judge Star pieces we've had before. Yikes? How's that a yikes? It's still like a fucking 35 mil split or something. Uh, huh, this one was an interesting one. So, before I forget, the first thing I want to do right here is actually grab this whip here and use it on this. As you notice, it's actually a Kraken Tentacle. You know, you guys know I usually will break them when they get low. I may or may not have forgotten to do that at the very end of the previous raid and basically just walked into this and did the whole raid just using my rapier the entire time. It wasn't that bad, but it was pretty bad. So let's hope I don't do that again. 287 KC now. Should be able to push 300 this week and also still get 99 Herblore, which we are a little bit less than 1 million XP away from now. All right, so I don't usually do stuff like this, but I decided I'd get this one on stream. So here we go, I guess. This is uh, a, a pretty... Long time coming, kind of 99. It's something I could have gotten passively, but decided to go for it. There we go. 99 Herbalore is finally done. So I'm not going to buy the skill cape because, you know, bank space. But it's kind of cool to have this done. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, it is kind of one of those things that you never really think that you are going to get. Like, at least not by putting effort into it. And this was something that was always considered one of the hardest skills on Iron Man for a very long time. So I'm gonna go decant the potions that I made. I still have to stay, you know, stocking up on restores and brews because, yeah, restores and brews are gonna be always needed. So post 99 XP at that point, I'm probably gonna knock out 99 Hunter sometime just to get that done. And then I'm still gonna be working on Corp before I actively grind for 2200 total, but this kind of has put me in a little bit of a skilling mood. So I have been trying to get some more revs done. Uh, I've, I've put it on break for a little while because obviously with all the updates and everything, I figured I wouldn't be able to really find a world, and it seems like I was right, because just about every world I go to is still full. And I get why, like it's very, you know, it's very good money right now with the crossbow still being as expensive as it is. Hopefully it dies down soon, because even the, like the 2k worlds, which usually aren't incredibly packed, are currently full. Like every world looks like this. So as a main, obviously I could compete and try and get some of the drops, but as an Iron Man, it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen for a little while, so I'm just going to have to wait. Which really sucks, because I, I kind of wanted to do some revs today. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait for a little while until it dies down more here. Oh yeah, also this is my new setup for when I do go to revs. Uh, it's pretty nice, honestly, with new defender and the rapier instead of a whip. 
and I think previously I was using a Dragon Defender. I don't risk any of it, and even if I do somehow get Skull Tracked, which I shouldn't, because I have my options on hidden and I keep my player attack options on off. Um, even if I do somehow get Skull Tricked, I literally have duplicates of all of these items, so it shouldn't cause me any problems. Alright, well, here it is. Unfortunately, no drop on it, but 300 Theater of Blood KC. Once again, obviously, I'm not stopping doing this. Gonna continue going until I get the items I want. If my last item happens to be a staff, I will probably take a break, but I do want to get a scythe before I leave here because I just really want to get a scythe. And the plan is, after we get, uh, or after I get a scythe, everyone on my team should have one, and we're going to start trying to do some challenge mode raids 1, because why not? Pet transmog is pretty cool, and I still need a bunch of raids 1 items, so might as well start going for it. Um, but yeah, 300 KC, the Verzik changes, and the, the Theater Blood changes happen today too, and Verzik feels like a joke now. I use, like, maybe two brews there. It's it's way easier. Way easier. Alright, so my boy Davey said he missed the uh, Third Age gear outros and whatnot, so we're gonna do some of these on occasion again. So, that's the end of this video. Got 99 Herblore, got 300 KC and TOB. Still focusing pretty hard on TOB. Really, really want to get a Scythe and just another Unique, honestly, because I'm about 100 dry now. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's bringing me back up to kind of like where I should be at for KC for the number of drops I've had. So, either way, hopefully we can see another drop from TOB soon. Now that I am done with Nightland Herblore, I might go back to actually doing some more random Slayer, like that Calphites task I had. I might get that done pretty soon. Instead of doing it on KQ, I could do it on Little Calphites. One little announcement before this video is fully over, and I'm sorry I know people don't like outros. Most of you guys probably tuned up by now anyway. But um, next Friday is actually my wedding. So this video is going to be, like, I'm trying to record a little ahead. I'm playing a little more to get some more content in, and hopefully I can get another video out for next Saturday, or next Sunday, rather. But if I don't manage to get one out, I hope you guys understand. Obviously, it's my wedding. I really want to focus on that, but I'll do my best to pre-record to get it up in time. Um, and also, I'm going to be breaking my stream streak because of my wedding. So by then, I'll have been streaming for over 440 days for four to six hours every day. Sometimes, lately, I've even been getting in a morning stream and an evening stream for four to five hours each. So if you guys want to tune in and maybe celebrate the end of the streak, that'd be great. I would love to see a bunch more of you guys in the streams, especially because we're doing tons of TOB, and we've gotten so comfortable with TOB that we can easily still talk to chat and even answer questions about TOB and stuff like that. So if you want to tune into anything like that and it sounds interesting to you, feel free to do so. Either way, hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the little bell for notifications because that's just how YouTube is these days. And have a fantastic weekend.